the look at what we can expect for the rest of the week. Thanks so much. Good afternoon, John Dana and everyone. Bottom line, the majority of our snow showers have come to an end. However, we will continue to see a couple of pockets of flurries and a few areas of light to moderate snow just in the high country. The lower elevations, though, should continue to see drying and clearing conditions this afternoon. Here's a view of uh, America's Mountain atop Pikes Peak, courtesy of our Cog Railway Neighborhood Weather Network camera. Lots of fresh snow atop Pikes Peak, looking over southeast over Colorado Springs. You can see lots of clouds. We stay cloudy, cool, and gusty out there. I'd make sure to grab the jacket and the gloves as you step outdoors. Live HE Doppler radar is not as active as it was earlier this morning. I quickly want to mention this storm was very hit or miss. There were some areas that did not see any snow at all. In fact, we looked pretty crystal clear for our different neighborhood weather network cameras in the Steel City. And for South El Paso County, it didn't look all that wintry this morning. But closer to the Palmer Divide, near Monument and Castle Rock, we saw some good snow. We also saw some good snow within Teller County. Reports up to 10 inches uh, near Florissant and Divide. We'll get to snow totals coming up next, but first a tour of live HD Doppler radar. Uh, just to the southwest of Fountain in the foothills, you see pockets of light snow with light snow continuing near and surrounding Walsenburg and just east of the I-25 corridor. Current temperatures are cold in the 30s and 40s. Again, make sure you layer up as you step outside. We're in the mid to upper 20s for North El Paso County, 24 for Manitou Springs, upper 30s for Pueblo West, Walsenburg through Trinidad in the upper 20s and low 30s. On top of seeing cool and crisp temperatures, well, wind speeds are just a bit blustery. In fact, we'll continue to keep in gusty winds this afternoon. Here's a look at sustained winds at 6 p.m. You see speeds between 10 uh, to 20 miles an hour. The National Weather Service has expired several uh, winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings in effect. Uh, earlier, we had them in effect for uh, Teller and Fremont counties, but we still have just a couple winter weather advisories in effect for the high country. Those continue until 4 or 6 o'clock this afternoon, just depending upon the location. As for the lower elevations and areas like Teller and Fremont counties, we'll see refreezing tonight. So in areas that where we did see some snow fall overnight and early this morning, we will see slick and slushy areas. So really take it easy as you are driving home from work in those spots. But for areas where we didn't see snow, some areas of the Eastern Plains, North Pueblo County, I'm not expecting any sort of weather related issues tonight. Get this, how different will tomorrow be? We'll see more sunshine temperatures in the upper 40s, low 50s by Friday, cresting into the 60s by Saturday. Sunday into Tuesday, that's our next possibility for uh, seeing an interrupted weather pattern. We'll start to see more showers Monday into Tuesday. Tuesday. Pueblo tomorrow 53, low 50s on Thursday, 60s we soar by Saturday, more clouds, slightly cooler temperatures on Sunday. For Canyon City, tomorrow will feel a bit more spring-like, increasing sunshine 52 degrees, warming temperatures into Saturday will be above average with temperatures then. Monday and Tuesday, we start to see our next change. Finally, in Teller County, 41 for tomorrow, 50 degrees on the dot by Saturday, with scattered showers possible, especially Monday into Tuesday. More live looks and storm reports from how much snow we've seen. That's coming up next. Yeah, some places got quite a bit. That's it's right. crazy how different.